In this day and age, people are not into yodeling at all. Or, in this day and age, people are into yodeling so much <laughs> that it's got to be perfect. <laughs> Should we trust our insects and say that's exactly it? Because everybody just said, <laughs> okay. Now, what we're going to do, well, I, we ain't going to do nothing. We're going to be like moral support. But what Ray is going to do, because no matter what you thought up to now, this is bound to grab you. Ray is going to do some Olympic yodeling. going to do the dangerous triple yodel. Okay, for the benefit of the six or seven people left in the country that do not know, up until about six months ago, the triple yodel was considered the most dangerous thing you could do to your body. And Ray practiced it and practiced it without a net. No net, she falls, it's all over. <laughs> No athletic support, nothing. <laughs> Don't show him <them> anything. <laughs> and, and then we found out that there was a little old woman in Joliet, Illinois, who could do the quadruple yodel. We found out. Yeah, right. And there's her nephew right here, or somebody. And we read about it in the Guinness World Book of Records. And Ray got off the bus just long enough to sit down with her and she showed him how to do it and she passed away. And that's not funny. And now Ray is the only person who can still do it. So, if you're out there watching, this is Ray Song. From Mobile, Alabama. Doing the dangerous triple yodel. And then sailing into the We have a winter to get me a lead. I need a little bit of that. Hold that gap for the Sorry.